Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I have a cast video on two new sims that are going to be joining us in the Not So Berry Extended series. So as you guys may or may not know, my last gen of Not So Berry is related to vampires and I need Onyx to at least have two vampire offspring. So I originally was going to just do this off camera and not even bother recording the process, but I was like, maybe I'll record it and maybe they'll come out cute and then I can just turn it into a video and you guys can meet the Sims before we meet them in the series. So starting off, we have Lana Pearson, who actually moved to Forgotten Hollow with her roommate, Dimitri Navarez, which is the second sim you guys will be meeting after her. So essentially they've moved in together and um, they had a little bit of a fling that went on, but since then has ended it because Lana is very much a serial romantic. So she can't really stick to one relationship. She's also very not committal, but very romantic. So yeah, and then as far as Dimitri goes, he is like an artist and he spends a lot of time, you know, working on his paintings, all that stuff. So he was preoccupied with that and then like the relationship just didn't work out so they're just better off as roommates and they wanted to move to a different place because they've been living in the city and they were like you know what let's just go head into a different environment and it can also be a very good space for Dimitri to get inspiration because it's like dark and like the atmosphere is so different compared to like the city life where it's all hustle and bustle and all this stuff so um, she is going to probably be our first first offspring and the way I think I'm going to go about it is most likely it's going to be Kieran bringing in the sims because since Kieran is able to just get everybody to fall in love with him he is definitely going to use that power because they're going to be the fresh blood in Forgotten Hollow so obviously he's going to want to take a bite at that so at any chance he gets and also speaking of that that means we're also going to be living with Kieran and Elisa Vetta because I think that I don't really need to make a whole new space for Onyx specifically because I think it plays into the story very well so I don't feel like making a whole new house makes sense. I think us living with them is gonna be good for Onyx as a brand new vampire. I mean we are gonna be leveling up fairly quickly anyways but over time, you know, maybe we'll move back to the city or maybe we'll just move into uh, Forgotten Hollow with Jalen if we do end up getting back into that relationship, which I hope there is a way that we can because, listen, I know that we had to break off the engagement. Again, there is nothing set in the rules that you can't get married, you can't get engaged again or anything like that. So I don't know if I should go that route. Do you guys think that should I try and make them be end goal and have them get married or you know at least be together forever in some way because i know for a fact that Jalen doesn't want to give up on the relationship and i'm sure that onyx deep down doesn't either so i think that either you know Jalen would allow onyx to turn him or Onyx would do the opposite and try and become human again. If that is possible, can you become human again? I think you can, right? If it is a possibility, it's like one or the other basically with them. Like I think that no matter what, it's either they're gonna live forever or they're gonna both be, you know, human sims and die together. At some point, you know, we're gonna end up having to figure out what route we go in because, I don't know, I think that there's something special in that relationship and I don't want to have that be gone forever and obviously the scenario has changed right now but things will hopefully get better um, and Onyx will make the right decisions and stuff like that. So I am really having a lot of fun with the storyline. Like the last episode I feel like was very story driven as far as, you know, the relationship and what was going on there. But I'm just gonna say adding vampires just added that passion in me to like wanna make this story really good. But I just, and the whole twin aspect, like it kind of came out of nowhere because, you know, one day I was making over Jalen and then I was I was like, wait, like, what if he had a twin brother that was a vampire? And like, things kind of change. Like, even if like, well, I'm like, my original plans for this gen ended up becoming different, which I kind of like that because over time, like, ideas kind of spark up and like things change, which that's why I never like set in stone like an exact storyline that I have in mind because things change. The game will 
play out differently I'll get ideas or whatever it is and uh, I kind of like that probably doing quite a bit of off-camera gameplay as well because there's gonna be some skill grinding that I need to do and all that stuff so yeah but I'm really excited to record the next episode and you know hopefully get our first offspring in that and we're gonna be getting back into another career and we're gonna get into writing books and after that we're gonna be starting our new business so I'm hoping that we can really um, wrap this series up very very soon because I would like to start a new series in the new year. I don't know what it is yet. I still am deciding. There's a challenge I really want to do. I don't want to say what it is because, you know, if it happens, I want it to be a surprise. But it's like, I'm kind of overwhelmed with the rules for it. It just seems like it'd be a fun challenge. It's one I've been wanting to do for like two years or something like that. So I'm hoping that if, you know, everything goes well, I can go ahead and do that challenge. But if not, then maybe I'll have to find something else to do. I know there's been challenges that a lot of people have been suggesting for me to do over the years or even recently. I just, I'm, I don't think I'm ready for another generational legacy type of let's play just yet uh, maybe later in the year there's some other like smaller challenges that i think i want to do first before i dive into another legacy because i'm about to be ending this um not so very challenge which is basically a legacy challenge in itself like 13 generations is a long time for a series and honestly i'm quite surprised that i'm still even doing it so there is that but we started this challenge in 2017 and here we are at towards the end of 2021 so i'm hoping that this will be the last we see not so berry but we'll see Depending on how I end up uploading, there still could be potentially another episode of Nasabur coming into 2022. So it really depends because honestly, I'm not going to lie, with the holiday season, I just kind of want to just chill and relax and watch TV shows. And surprisingly also, I've been playing Sims off camera. I know, shocker. Like, I never have current households, like, basically ever. The only time I play Sims, like, off camera is when I'm either working on my save file or doing behind the scenes work for my series or you know making sims or whatever the case is but yeah i'm actually playing a household because me and my friend have been talking um on discord while we both play our households and it's been really fun like i've gotten into it and i'm also creating a storyline for it so it's kind of like gonna be getting a little bit crazier soon when i get to talk to my friend again i get to play again but uh, we used to do this like way back before i started doing like sims 4 again on my channel i think it was in like 2016 but a bunch of us we used to like skype and play our current household at the same time and like keep each other like updated on what's going on it was really fun like i kind of miss those days and like doing this again like just brings me back to those days and i don't know i've been having a lot of fun with it and i don't know if i'll do a current household video on it once things go crazier but my sim just had twin girls and there's problems in, with the husband and uh yeah it's just <laughs> it's a little bit more chaotic than i expected it to be because i was gonna have like a little nice little wholesome family but things changed so yeah but that is pretty much it sorry i kind of like rambled but i don't know it's been nice to talk to you guys again um and uh, yeah that's the create a sim for today i hope you guys like these sims and uh, we'll be meeting them very very soon so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys